Eric, this is interesting only because usually when we talk about companies raising money in this kind of capacity, it is maybe for earlier stage companies. This is by no means an early stage company. We're talking Tesla. We're talking Twitter. We're talking names that everyone's familiar with. I wonder from your perspective, is Elon Musk taking the right strategy with regard to managing both of these companies in this current environment? Well, he, he's done an incredible job uh, with, with Tesla, and you, you should probably mention also SpaceX. Uh, but, but his uh, ownership of Twitter so far has been completely chaotic, and surprisingly so. Uh, he, he immediately fired more than half the staff. And by the way, it's surprising that the service is still up and running normally. Um, he's suspending people on, on a whim. He's reinstating them uh, on, on another whim. And so it's only normal, I believe, that he would want to have a CEO, someone that, who can steady the ship and, uh, and, and, you know, make the rules transparent and, and, and uh, understandable to everybody. Uh, Twitter is an incredibly important service. It, it is, you know, the main way that, uh, that people disseminate news and information. It's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it has open discussions. It's the public square. And I really hope that uh, he, can, he can stabilize the, this, this, uh, this platform. You know, Eric, what's interesting about this whole dynamic is Elon Musk has seen success in his investment and his operational control of companies through just about every stage of development, from, from early stage all the way to a mature company, you could argue, like Tesla. So what exactly is it in his mind do you feel that is perhaps keeping him tied to both of these in the way that he is, both Twitter and Tesla? Do you think it's time for him, for him to focus on just one of them? And, 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 of course, that one should be Tesla, right? Well, well he's, never, he's never really focused on a single company. Uh, he, he basically divides his time. He doesn't multitask. He divides his time, uh, you know, a day for Tesla, a day for uh, SpaceX or the, the, the tunneling company or whatever. But, but with Twitter, he has a different animal on his hands. It's a social network. Uh, he, he, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there's, a, there's lots of undercurrents, political undercurrents, other undercurrents. Uh, he has to deal with, um, you know, rules that he feel, feels were uh, unfair by, by banning people who should not have been banned. But he's not replacing it yet with something that uh, people can, can feel comfortable with. Uh, he's lost a lot of advertisers. Uh, in, in a nanosecond, uh, which, which, you know, normally you wouldn't do. Uh, advertisers are, are, are very, very, uh, you know, conscious about where they put their ads. They want their, their ads to be safe. Their brand has to be safe. And so he has to fix all of this. And it's very different than, uh, you know, fixing uh, whatever, whatever the issues are with Tesla. It's, it's, it's a, something that he's never done before.